Module 14, Polishing Up Calendar. Let's gray out our calendar with the undated day. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos from this channel. Also, subscribe and share. It will be helpful for the channel. Alright, let's open up our C drive. Let's go to Access Projects folders. Um, what we are going to do in this video, we are going to uh, polishing up our calendar copy the uh, module 13 control c control v change 13 to 14 and let's say uh, polishing up polishing up calendar yep um let's open it up so i was thinking after looking at it a couple of times right here on the calendar you see how they all have the same background what we want to do is we want to make this guy like none dates like Sunday right here would be gray light gray maybe and see how it stops at the uh, last day of 30th we want the rest of them to be to be gray grayish out so let's see how we are going to uh, accomplish that. It shouldn't take too much. So let's go to calendar. Uh, go to the design and go to the code right here on the top right. All right. So what we want to do here on this one before it started displaying the date and the list of items. Uh, let's go to clear calendar. And this clear calendar, all we need to do is to uh, change that to a light gray. Alright, and uh, I'm thinking because we have this control already. Uh, so the first thing that it does, let's take a look so that you understand. When we go to calendar, it's going to grayish out. See how that? Now we want to highlight each day that is 1, 2, 3, 4 until the last day. Alright, so that's what we want to do. So we got the uh, background cleared out. Let's go to calendar again. Now what we want to do is when it finds the first day, we want that day to also be uh, different color the background all right so um, so I'm thinking if we did this let's let's take a look at what it does to uh, it gives us we know this is the command this control is command but we can force it to be a label you see we can force it to be a label so let's take a look uh, we are going to look for uh, LBL and then uh, we are going to uh, hmm, uh, LBL. I wonder if we could do this. We're going to do mid control L name. And we're going to start the beginning of the cal uh, the um, yeah. Same. We're going to start on the fourth one. And then what we want is we want the length of this control name minus the first three characters. I think that's what we want to do. Let's take a look. We're going to do length uh, CTL. We're going to want the length of that guy minus the first three characters. And then we, wish, we should get the rest of them. All right. So let's, let's see what it looks like. So we need to find the calendar start starting with the uh, 
uh, Sunday. Uh, let's go to our navigation. So let's go back. We're looking for the calendar that has Sunday as a start date. Oh, there it is. Look at that. You see there? LBL Sunday 1. So that's what we want. Alright, that's what we want. So what we need now, we want to color that guy when we find it. As well as displaying the number 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, so this is how we are going to do it. This is good. So that's how we do it. So what we need to do here, if we say me right here in front, parentheses, and then close it out and say back color equals color. How about light uh, ocean blue like we had? All right. And let's take a look. It's going to highlight, it's going to highlight that the label for that control all right so now we are basically forcing it to say hey I know you are the command but I'm going to force the I'm going to force this to be a not forcing this one to be but I'm going to specify uh, the label with this name remember that's how we design right so let's go forward let's backwards see there it highlights it all right now we can do the rest of them just as the same way as we're displaying the date all right so now all we have to do is pretty simple yeah this is going to be a quick one all we have to do is copy that guy and put it right there there these are the first day of the month, all right. So we are, so we know that not everyone has the same first day, all right. One may fall on Sunday, one may fall on Monday, and so on and so forth. So we will look. This one just looking for the first day. Which one is the first day? That's what it's looking for, all right. So once it finds the first day, we want it to display. And then we're done with the first day. So we say, hey, you're no longer a first day. Now, if you are no longer a first day, I want you to also do this. All right. For the duration, for all the days that's equal or less than the last day. All right. So now, if we look at it, see how even this grayish color, it goes beyond the length. That's because it doesn't know the number of day. It just say here, if you are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and regardless, you just color me all this light gray. All right. So now let's go to, let's see, this is August. Let's go to September. September should highlight all the select, all the dates. Perfect. Look at that. And that's how we do it. See, that? that's pretty nice and simple. This is a nice way of knowing, hey, these are the first day. All right, and these days are highlighted. All right, that is pretty nice and simple. All right, so I'm still uh, debating on what to do next since this is the um, uh, customer management system. So let's. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Let's go to. Uh, let's go to the. Uh, design view and go to uh on load hey where are you on load right here see this right here display header footer instead of doing displaying the company we could um we could say Customer management system CMS. It's not a content manage management system, right? Now the content management system, which is the same abbreviation, that's mainly for the in, uh, website. But this is not a website. This is application that we that we 
take calls and receive calls and making calls to our customers or potential customers. This is what this app is all about. Um, also, see this right here. Um, well, what do we have? We have calendar. We don't have calendar. So this guy would be calendar, wouldn't it? Uh, calendar. And then nav three. This would be admi administration. All right. So we didn't do that. All right, let's close it out and let's open it again. So we got order entry. Oh, it didn't change. Oh, how about admin? Okay, so that means we need to do on click on that guy. So let's go to uh, design. This calendar right here should be a clicking event right there. There's no clicking event. So all we have to do is come over here, copy this guy, and then calendar, click event. That way it calls that uh, function that we just did. Control S, close it. Um, so let's go, now this time when we click on that, that should say on the right here. Uh, we don't see the, uh, oh right here, customer management right here. Customer management system, all right, on the real top there. Uh, we should see calendar if we click on the cal calendar. There you go, see it says calendar. All right, um, and here, how come it didn't display all, what happened to all uh, display? Didn't we not save that? Oh, you know what, somehow it didn't save control. Uh, control C, you see that we don't have that one in there. Thought we already did that. Did we not save that? Huh. That is not. That's not right. Well, let's try it again. We must have not saved that. Oops. So this time we're gonna save that. No wonder. Alright, control S. Uh, let's close it out and let's come back in. Open it up. That's better. You must not save that. So that looks good there. Now they're all days all highlighted. And that's what we want. There you have it. Nice and short video. Um so you can do a lot with the calendar if you want to. Uh, we can have a pop-up right here on the click right here. Um, so, but um, that is to come, all right? There you have it. Happy programming. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell. And also, comment below and if you need help, inbox me. Thanks again.